Welcome everybody. This is Beyond Kicking and Punching with Sifu Wild Cascos. I'm Sonny Pabuaya. I'm uh, here to, I guess, talk to Sifu Wild and get him to elaborate what is beyond kicking and punching. Because, you know, with, with martial arts, there's life lessons that you can learn that you can apply to everyday living. And there's, and Sifu Wild Cascos has made or has many experience in life in the 60 plus years where he's learned to fail, succeed. And so now we get to learn from that and better ourselves and as well progress that much faster. So I would recommend you tune in, get your notepads ready and you know write it all down and make sure, don't just write it down, apply it. All right, guys. So again, welcome Sifu Al Dacascos. Hey, Sonny, thank you for uh, you know getting this thing going. Uh, it's a long dream of mine to get something going above the kicking and punching. Yes. So what, oh, yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a scam call come in. It's okay, Sifu. Go right ahead. Keep going. <laughs> that was you going to cut out. Now, 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 we'll just keep that as a blooper. Keep going, Sifu. This is <laughs> lessons, right? It's about going and rolling with the punches. So you just got to keep going. Part of the five, you know, golden rules, right? <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to use the word I use. <laughs> anyway, guys, listen, um, there's this. this there's been so many topics that we've done uh, since October, and now that it's in uh, uh, going into the new year, um, I want to talk about something and really jump on it because instead of going back into doing everything per se, how we did it when we began in October, this one I'm just going to shoot off the bat right now because we're starting off a new uh, new year, so to speak, even if we, we already in in February. And that is something we talked about and it was called my New Year's resolution. Uh, right. We did that. We did that in January. But you know, as you know, that when people begin to start off with New Year's resolution, give it twenty days to thirty days. You know, <laughs> you will find that seventy to eighty percent of them don't even continue on with their That's New right. Year's resolution. But I'm just going to repeat because um, what I want to do is give you guys techniques for positive self-talk, and I like to use what we call the uh, a smart goal. You know, S M A R T. Um, and this is a way to really get your, your uh, resolution going on. Now, let's define the word, what is resolution? Is it something that you make to want to keep so that you can keep your life in order, um, to resolve, to, re to resolute? That is uh, primarily what you want to uh, you talk about. Now, one of the best systems I found in using the goal system is, is uh, as I use the uh, acronym, of SMART, you know, S, what we would say would be meaning, you gotta be specific into what you do, what, why, who, where, and when you do it. Now you can go into a lot of things into, you know, what you do, what exactly are you trying to accomplish? Um, what, why do you want to accomplish it? Um, who needs to be involved in order to achieve those goals? And uh, where, wh what location, are you going to be doing this from, you know, to take place? When do you want to accomplish that? You know, this all comes into the uh, being really being specific about what you want to do. And then yes. the next one is going to be M. Yeah. M is yes. actually going to spend, a, 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 you know, mean measurable. How will you measure your progress? How will you, you know, when you are successfully attaining your goals, it's important to think about the outcome because you know when you begin to measure things, you have to look at, look at you know. For instance, you know when, when um, a screenwriter writes a, a screenplay, you know he has a beginning, but he also has the end in mind or where he, exactly what he wants to go. Everything in between is put into the first act, second act, and third act. You know the high lows and so forth. But you got to have something that is measurable. You know that you know that you're going to be able to, to get into what we call a out of the S M A, is it attainable? 
So you got to be very realistic about it because some people think, oh, you know what? In two years, I'm going to be flying to the moon. Well, how realistic and how attainable is it whether you can do it or not? You got to be able to do something that you know that you can. But you know, the other thing too is just that there's also another word, you know, is that I like to, to use also be, besides attainable is R, which is relevant and realistic. But along the word with relevant and realistic comes the word risk, because you got to be able to risk things to make it happen. You know, I always say that, and we've heard it, you heard me say it a lot of times that, um, let's put it this way, a turtle only goes forward when he risks his neck out. So that means he's being relevant, he's being realistic to try to attain his goals. So, you know, being realistic in foreseeing it, is it going to be worthwhile, you know? And, um, you know, is it going to be a beneficiary to yourself and your company? And most important, you know, is it, is it how much time and resources are you going to be able to do it to make it uh, uh, relevant, you know? And of course, the last one is going to be timely. Um, timely. Are you going to be able to use this in a, a do your, your goals in a timely fashion? Example, you know, um, you want to be a, a, a good martial artist. You want to be a good kicker and puncher. But, you know, using kicking and punching is so, so, so broad. So you're going to have to break it down, you know. You know, how good do you, you want to make your first punch, maybe the reverse punch. And you look at that and then say reverse punch. What the hell is that? You know, I got to figure out, you know, what is relevant is just that how are you going to do it? You're going to have to have the knowledge. And where does the knowledge go for, or come from? You have to have a good mentor, a good coach. Uh, sure, you can go ahead and learn, you know, martial arts on uh, YouTube or, you know, some kind of magazine and anything. But yes. you, don't have, you don't have the instructor. You don't have the mentor to look at it from under the nose, you know, um, and look at you and say, you know, what you're doing is good, but we can make it better. And the only way you can make it better is to, you know, then this is where he's going to be able to tweak all of those fine points. Yes. Um, you know, there's a lot of things can be done by self-help, but it's always good to have someone who's already been there to help you because you have to learn from the wiser man. You know, I've said this many times before, the wise man learned learns through his own experience, but the wiser man learns from the experience of the wise man. That's a good way to do it because I mean, mm. we, are, we are all not, you know, hopefully, you know, we like to think that we're godlike and know everything, but that's impossible, you know? Um, if, even people that are, are genuinely genius, you know, look for the higher, the higher source. So working into, into a timely matter and putting this all together, you know, is what we call the smart, a smart way of learning, you know. Now, the, uh, I think that, you know, also, you know, we could, we, I could elaborate this and then go more into detail. But, you know, we, we are giving out the materials to you and you can get it, as you can see, on, on Sonny's shirt, you know, the CoscoesMartialArts.com, where you can get our free booklet, you know, which is called the New Year's, the New Year's Resolution. OK, yes. Um, and I think this is going to be very helpful because some of you, you know, really need to have a kick in the ass, get, get, <laughs> get the point across and move forward, because some of us just sit on and just, oh, yeah, that's great and do nothing. But, you know, mm -hmm. if you're trying to to be somebody and, and make something of yourself and make a good life of yourself, then you have to have the good mindset. And a good mindset, if you don't have it right now, is just let, just, just let us help you and give you the little push to move forward. Um, I would like to really encourage you to getting involved with what we have on our programs. And I could go on on the New Year's resolution, and we are. But this is going to come with all the other self-help uh, uh, or what we call motivation and inspirational talks that we're going to be doing over this program. 
Now, bear in mind, mm -hmm. it's not only going to be about the kick and punch. We're going to go beyond. Okay. You already, some Excellent. of you already know it. Some of you are already experts in it, but you lack other things in your life. You lack the spiritual, the moral, the ethical, or, or financial, or what. You know, we, we, we can go beyond that, you know. So I'd like to make sure that, you know, we can give you all the tools to help you achieve that goal. So, Sonny, what do you have? Well, those were great things that you were mentioning, Sifu. I mean, we really do believe in the SMART method, but at the same time, we believe in taking risks. And, and you're right. You got to be uncomfortable to get better, right? Because if you stay in your comfort zone, then in the long run, you're just going to be sitting on that couch. And you're right. We have to, we're there ready to give everybody or whoever wants to a kick in the butt. And the way to do it is they can join us uh, by going to the Cascos Martial Arts and get a free video on our on your DTS uh, program, okay? And then also they'll get a couple of free things. We also have, you know, our video sets that are on sale on One Hub Kendo as well as the uh, DTS starter set. And then also we're looking into expanding and we've got a, a year program that's gonna be starting up soon, which people can join up. But also, if you want to get more information, we're also on Facebook. Facebook, we are DTS, the, uh, the Costco's Tactical System uh, Facebook uh, private page. So if you want to join, you can go on to that. I mean, there's many ways of getting a hold of us. And if you like what you hear and would like to get uh, Sifu Wild to talk more about whatever, the best thing to do is comment below, right? like what you're seeing, subscribe, hit that bell icon so that this way, when Tifu Al posts a new video on YouTube, you'll get the notifications, okay guys? So the best thing to do is make sure, hit that bell icon, subscribe, share, like, and this way you'll get all this knowledge that Tifu Al is willing to give and share with everybody. So again, thank you very much, guys. Unless you have any other words to say, Sifu. Yeah, I want to say that, you know, this is gender free. Yeah, you know? I mean, it's not exclusive to just men, you know, or no, old people right. or people in wheelchairs or women. No, we are open to anyone that, you know, seeking knowledge. Remember that knowledge is something that you can have and nobody can take away. You know, that's right. Um, and once you have that in there, you know, take advantage of it because the, the, all Hawaiians have a saying that says all knowledge doesn't just come from one place. It comes yes. from many places and sources. So we, we are utilizing everything that we have, you know, regardless of the martial arts background that you have is to, to make you better. And that's, that's the reason for this show anyway. You know, exactly. I mean, sometimes you feel that you reach a limit, but the limit is only because your mindset is saying that you put a limit on it. There is no limit. I mean, take a look at when we look out into the sky, you know, and the only way that you're going to see the stars is in darkness. So, yes. you know, if you feel as if you, you're coming into a dark area in your life, that's where all the stars are at. When the that's lights right. are on, you don't see the stars, not, not at all. So you're looking for it. And even then, what did man do? They, <laughs> they, they didn't just limit themselves to, the, to what they could see at night, they put a telescope up there to go beyond seeing beyond, beyond, beyond. So That's when we right. say beyond kick and punches, we are going beyond what we're doing, taking it exactly. to another level. That's right. That's what it's all about. So again, thank you for listening, guys, and make sure you keep tuning in and hit that bell icon and subscribe. Aloha, guys. Aloha. All right. Take care. Okay. Bye, Sifu. I know, but we're still on. <laughs> you okay?